Hey, I'm Jessica Bendinger and you're watching Trailers from Hell. I'm talking about a little movie called Smile, directed by Michael Ritchie and written by Jerry Belson. The most popular spectator sport in America is not the Super Bowl or the Olympics or the World Series or the heavyweight championship. It's the beauty pageant. Smile bears a lot of similarity to The Candidate. If you've seen Michael Ritchie's movie, The Candidate, you'll notice his themes coming up. And basically, he makes no distinction between politics and beauty pageants. He's used a lot of the same crew in both movies, a lot of the same tropes, bands playing songs badly. Again, his signature in this period, actors who are very much their authentic selves. They seem very unfiltered, unadorned, undistilled. There's a real naturalness to the satire that makes it so unique. I feel like if you want to learn anything about the 70s, and in particular, what women were like in the 70s or what the archetype was, look at Smile. It's got a great cast. Bruce Dern plays the head judge. There's this unbelievable KKK-esque kind of Mason club. Shot by Conrad Hall, the film captures the hypocrisy and cliche of the world it's shooting with deadpan sincerity. Annette O'Toole, Joan Prather, young Melanie Griffith give incredible performances that are so free of artifice, it's magical. My favorite cameo in the whole movie is from Michael Kidd, who plays Tommy French, the legendary Hollywood dancer, choreographer who's seen better days and he's forced to choreograph these girls' cheesy routines. He's kind of the heart of the movie for me. He has this cynicism and POV that is like, this is kind of bullshit. <laughs> He calls out the bullshit in his performance and with his lines. Somebody in the movie, I think it's I think it's the Michael Kidd character, but they say, you know, they took a bunch of nice high school kids and turned them into Vegas showgirls. And another great scene is when Annette O'Toole finally does her talent, which is basically a strip tease in front of an audience who's very eagerly lapping it up. That is the tension this movie lives on, is this weird thing of sexualizing young girls and trying to act as if it's innocent. We're not really competing with each other, we're more friends. Again, here the hats and the dancing, that's also in The Candidate directly. I don't know if it's was intent, it feels intentional when you see them both. Now if you just keep smiling, you can win. Smile is one of those underrated gems that again shows Michael Ritchie was really at his peak form and really understood that satire wraps the candy of entertainment in the medicine of something interesting. And he was really trying to say something interesting about American culture and about our standards of beauty and competition in this country. It's a wonderful film, and if you haven't seen it, do it.